to make our way into the sighting of the Kahumas from this morning. Now, for those of you who didn't see this morning, we tracked and found the Kahumas, but we couldn't really get a good view of them. And because we were on foot, we made our way out, and Rex and the rest of the Juma guides came and had a look, and they moved into this area after we left them, and now we're coming to end the show, basically, with them. And judging from the tracks from this morning, I'm expecting to see very young lions here. I can't wait. Lion cubs are super awesome. Make our way slowly, and I can really see some lines just next to us off on our right hand side. Get into a position where we can see all the lines that we want. Just slowly making our way in. Hello, everybody. Awesome. Have a look there. Brand spanking new lion cubs. <laughs> how epic is that? I couldn't believe how small their tracks were this morning. And when we when we had found them, we were very nervous that the mother would come out of the bushes at us. But she seemed not to notice us. And now we get to see and show you those, the owners of the footprints that we showed you this morning. Excuse my voice coming through a little bit muffled there. It's uh, me just getting excited and not realizing where my microphone was. Now look at them playing, they've got a tail in the mouth. Those lion cubs are about as big as teddy bears at the moment. They are tiny. They, they soccer ball size. A couple of weeks old, just been introduced to the pride. So anywhere from about six to about ten weeks old. That's how old these guys are. Um, I'm not actually sure if we've seen them before on the show. Uh, Senzo's telling me we have seen them before. So they're probably a little bit older than that. I definitely haven't seen them. And the lovely thing about seeing difficult couple of uh, of months I went from a pride takeover where their cubs were killed to uh, oh this lioness is quite badly injured. Wow. Holy smokes. Since I've just gone to this lioness here with a damaged hip. Have we seen this before? Have a look at that massive injury. Oh, that can only be a goring from something. Wow. Senzo, have we seen this lioness's injury before? Yes. Ah, so she's got an injury, okay. Senzo also update. excuse me, I'm a bit out of touch with everything at the moment. Now what are you gonna do? Hopefully the wind is not going straight towards us. This is the time of year when lions have it relatively easy. It's just going for a potty break. Hopefully, the wind is not blowing towards us. They're looking a bit skinny, these females. I must be honest with you. They're not in their best health, but you know, it's a very difficult thing to to produce milk for cubs. It's expensive from a metabolic point of view. I think what's happening is these lions are they're not too bad. Lean, they could do with a meal for sure. It's just, it's lovely to see. These females have had it hard. I mean, since we started, I must be honest with you, that it's 
been, this pride has taken a bashing. And uh, it is actually quite nice to see. Yeah. I'm glad everyone's saying that you're all excited to see the Nkoma pride. She's blind in that eye as well. Wow, these girls have taken a hammering. Blind in the eye, one with a, a gash on the leg. Now, Valerie, you're wondering if this lioness with a massive gash on her leg will survive. Rule with lions is you, you stick with the pride, you'll get fed for an adult lion. And that is what will happen. So if she manages to stick with the pride and she doesn't she doesn't fall behind to a point where she's unable to to get any food then she will be looked after she'll be welcome at at kills and i think she doesn't look too bad just yet believe me when i say that lions can when they are injured and they're bad it is a, a skinny lioness is bad now i'm told that up to two weeks ago you've been seeing her and that she's been moving with the pride since then. And she's keeping it clean, she's licking it clean. Um, it doesn't look like her hip or anything's wrong with her hip. Wow, it looks bad that, but you know, she's okay. She's with the pride, that's all that matters. So to be honest with you, although it looks bad, lions can get much worse and, and it's not too bad. Oh, big yawn. The unfortunate would be that She's obviously not capable of hunting and so wouldn't be able to add her strength to the rest of the pride to uh, to hunt and so it makes it a little bit more difficult. Let's see what she does when she stands, stands up. Let's see how she's walking. Big stretch. Lions that are sick and very injured stay hidden in bushes. And she is a bit skinnier but she's not walking with a limp so her leg is not broken, her hip is not dislocated and her spine is not injured. So a flesh wound, she's gonna have a nice story to tell about what has been going on. She's obviously got a bit of infection. I can see lymph nodes in her, in her belly are a bit swollen. She looks a little bit, she looks a little bit, uh, a bit. Michelle, you, you, thank you for the update. You're saying that the injury looks a bit better. It seems to have dried out a bit. Seems to just sit still. That is an unbelievable gash. That is amazing. Louise is telling me that it looks so much better as well, but that is a chunk of flesh. It almost looks like she's... Uh, She's had a piece of herself ripped out there, a pound of flesh. Oh. I know what it is about my car that has elicited this bowel voiding movement from everyone, I can tell you. I am very thankful the wind is blowing into my face and not sideways. Okay, so she's walking fine. She's skinny. It's a, it's a, it's from, it looks worse than it is, uh, to be honest with you. I've seen a few lion injuries that, that are quite obviously where the lions have actually broken bones, and this is not the case. So bad, but superficial, thankfully. And if she can keep herself from too bad a septicemia, it, uh, it won't be too much of a problem either. There's another one of those little teddy bear cubs. Isn't that very cute? Oh, they are epic at this age, aren't they? This is the time of night when these ladies will start to hunt. And um, they are hungry. I think testimony to the fact that we found the young males on the termite mound yesterday. I think it is absolutely the fact that these lioness are not starving, but they're needing to cover some distance to kill something, and with no buffalo around, they need to hunt what they need to hunt. So, what are they going to hunt? They hunt zebra, wildebeest, kudu, young giraffe, buffalo, and they are around. Look at those lioness, strengthening the bonds that tie them together, the strongest bonds of all between sisters, 
and mothers and cubs rubbing their faces together as a passing the scent of the family around them. Now it is a bit dark because the sun has gone down and uh, we're not using any artificial light just yet. What we will do is switch on infrared light in a little bit. There we go. As infrared, isn't that just amazing? So with no artificial light and a light that these animals cannot see, we're able to increase your viewing pleasure. All of them awake now, lying together and licking each other clean. It's called aloe grooming. And these little cubs also just playing with each other. They, their teeth buds are itchy, hence the stick chewing. And it also helps to develop those very strong jaw muscles that will one day be able to clamp the air way shut of a large prey item dispatching it quickly and quietly. Now I must say I agree with all of you out there that I hope they make a kill soon and I hope that that injured lioness gets some food and is able to repair herself. I mean if she's been walking around for two weeks with that injury and she's okay she should be fine. It is going to take a bit of time to heal and I think it's going to leave a nasty scar.